And this Thanks, is a Colin. historic election victory, isn't it? It is. Um, this is the first time that a woman of colour has been elected to the Scottish Parliament. I mean, it shouldn't have taken this long because it was actually me that stood uh, for the SNP in 1999. So I didn't actually think it would be me, but here we are. Uh, and, you know, it's important, I think, the message out there is don't give up. Uh, there are many, many barriers that people like myself have to go through. Um, but at the end of the day, our voice uh, in the Scottish Parliament is just as important because actually we care about loads of issues, um, you know, not just sort of like traditional issues that you might connect with minority communities. But it's taken 21 years. How hard has it been to get elected for a woman of colour in Scotland? Well, uh, I think you've answered your own question there, the fact that it's taken, you know, more than two decades. What hurdles did you have to jump over? What, what, how, how much more difficult was it for you? Well, you've got the double whammy because you've got the racism that you face and then you've got the sexism and the misogyny that you have to face as well. Um, so when you put those two together um, it's a heady mix that sort of like puts extra additional barriers and you know and I'm a teacher you know I've dedicated my life 30 years to education as well so I don't have the type of job that you know allows you to go I've taken leave obviously for campaigning but you know as a hard-working teacher you don't have the time to do what maybe some of other politicians can do and one of the big things you're going to focus on is the the attainment gap the poverty related attainment gap yeah I hope I get that opportunity I do think that after 30 years I can provide some kind of you know insight into the complexities of it um, on the election trail you hear lots of sound bites about oh education is awful and uh, but I think you're doing our children and the staff in schools a great disservice there um, because they're working incredibly hard and it's a complex issue that uh, is as much concerned with poverty as it is with education so we're not going to be able to make any progress there unless we deal with poverty.